Today I have something special for you. We are gonna take a look at my second digital brain and how it works. And we are gonna create a new brain that uses semantic search to look up information. I think this is very exciting. So let's just get started. First, let's just start by looking what exactly is semantic search with vectors. So just imagine you have a big collection of information like a library and in that library you have many books. Each book has its own unique characteristics like author, genre, publication date and etc. Now imagine you are looking for one specific book but you don't know where it is. You only have a list of words that describes the book you are looking for. So like it's a science fiction book written by Stone Smith. It was published in the 1950s. So to find the book you want the computer will compare the words from your list with the characteristics of each book in order to find the books that are most similar to the description. And from there you should be able to find the book you are searching for. The first thing I want to do is show you how I built this second brain. So here you can see I have my second brain notes. And this is just some information about me, my name, my location. I have some information about my work, my passions, my life views. So you can see my name is Chris from Norway. I like YouTube. I do some video production and freelance. I like teaching, nature, generative AI, Premier League. And I have some goals and life views. Like uh, I try to be 1% better each day. I have some, I prefer long-term gains over short-term pleasure. So you get the point. But here we get to my, what you can call a journal, right? So you can see I started this 12 days ago today. So here I just make some notes what I've done each day. So I woke up at 6 to work on a new blog post. I cooked a healthy stir fry for dinner. I went to the gym. I watched a series on YouTube about AI. So you get the point, right? So now I have collected its 12 days of notes. But just imagine how this could be in like one year. And then you will have some really good information, right? And of course, this will be the foundation of my second digital brain. But how can these notes be used to create a searchable second brain? Where here you can see we have converted this into a JSON object. Here we have all the strings from our notes. And you can see we have something called vector here. And these are like numbers that represents the embeddings in our notes right you can see this tons of different numbers here that will represent embeddings from our strings right so these are the numbers we use when we are searching but now let's try to run my second brain and see how this works in practice okay now let's fire up the brain so the first thing you see is you get this ask your second brain so let's say i remember i drove my mother to the airport i think it was last week but i can't really I remember what day it was so just ask when did I drive my mother to the airport so let's see what we get back here so now this is gonna spin look at the embeddings and here we go on Friday the 13th Chris got up early at 4.40 to drive his mother to the airport. And we get this weird summarization here. Chris woke up early at 4 to, in the morning to drive his mother to the airport. He had to make sure he was up in time to get her there. So that's a bit strange. You can always remove this summarization. You don't need that. Okay, so that was the first question. So I know I had a meeting last week with uh, a client. So, but I can't really remember when. So I just go, when did I have that meeting with Timmy on catering? So just ask that and it should probably find it in the embeddings. The meeting with Timmy and Catering took place on Thursday the 19th of January at 11. So it's probably gonna give me that summarization again. But that is useful for something else but I'm not gonna read that out now. Okay so it found our meeting that's good. So let's just ask a bit of a strange question here. So let's just ask. I watched the movie Her uh, it's about 10 days ago I think. So did I like the movie Her? If you haven't seen it I think you should. So Yes, Chris liked the movie Her. This is evidenced by the fact that on Friday 13th, Chris watched the movie Her and noted that it was very good. Okay, perfect. Now let's just try to find out when I watched some Premier League in the last 10 days. So let's just run with that. Okay, so here you can see in the last 10 days, the viewer, I guess that's me, watched four Premier League games on Sunday the 15th, on Tuesday the 17th, 18th. Yeah, you get it. And we have what kind of games and what kind of scores it was. So yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's just try to create a summarization. So let's go. Can you summarize the last week? Okay, so here you can see Chris spent the last week in Norway. Yeah, that's true. 
engaging in a variety of activities related to his work and passions. During the week, Chris woke up early to work on blog posts, went to the gym for cardio. Yeah, so this seems to work. He also released a video on ChatGPT, visited his sister and brother-in-law, and had friends over to watch Arsenal Man United. Perfect. Okay, so now let's just try to do something funny. Now let's try to alter our memories. So this is something you can do. You can go into your brain and delete a memory like they did in Westworld, right? So let's try to do that. So the memory we are gonna delete is when I got up to drive my mom to the airport. So let's just delete that. Hit save and just update the brain. Here we go. Now let's try to run it. Okay, so what is gonna happen now when I ask, when did I drive my mom to the airport? It appears that you did not drive your mom to the airport of any of the days listed. So yeah, I guess I deleted some of my memories. If you want to build your own second digital brain, don't forget to check out the link below to my membership where I will be creating a step-by-step -step tutorial on this. And I got over 30 other videos for you to enjoy. But now let's go build that new brain. Okay, so let's start to build our new brain. And this is gonna be, let's say, call it an open AI brain, but I'm gonna collect information from 2023 about open AI. So it's gonna be Microsoft and uh, some other things. So I found four articles here that we are gonna copy and feed into our brain. So here you can see I've taken all the information from the articles and put it into just one big text file. Now let's head over to our build brain script and let's call this for openbrain.json. So we're gonna create, turn this into vectors. Go over here, run build brain. So this is CS building it, and that's it. Now let's check out our JSON file. Here we can see we have our OpenAI brain JSON. So we can we have our strings here. And of course, we have a ton of numbers. It's 8,000 lines. So this should be searchable now. So let's try to test out our new brain. Now let's fire up the brain and ask some more questions. So what happened to OpenAI in 2023? So let's see what we get back here. Okay, so we got something back here. You can see in 2023, Microsoft invested billions. So yeah, there's a lot of things happening, but let's just look at the summary here. So in 2023, Microsoft and OpenAI extended their partnership with a multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment for Microsoft. Yeah, this looks good. So there's a lot to see here, like Microsoft Azure's cloud platform will continue to be OpenAI's exclusive cloud partner. In 2023, Azure OpenAI services was made generally available to businesses and developers. Yeah, this looks very good. Now let's ask, will Microsoft include ChatGPT in Bing? Okay, it seems like we have some conflicting answers because we had the information from different sources, right? So at this time, it's unclear if we will include ChatGPT in Bing. Uh, it does not appear that Microsoft will include. It's unclear. It's unclear. No indication that Microsoft will include ChatGPT in Bing. So that is interesting. Like, But I guess it worked perfect because it found all the, all the times Microsoft and ChatGPT is mentioning including that in Bing. Now let's try to create a list of all the names mentioned in the information. Okay, this was not too bad. So we got names mentioned in the passage. We got all of these names. Here we got a list of 14, so we got Semaphore, Microsoft, OpenAI, ChatGPT. So here we got Sam Altman, GitHub. I guess it works. It was not very structured. I guess we have to alter our prompts here to get like a perfect uh, answer, I guess. Okay, so let's try to find out what is the price of ChatGPT Pro? Okay, so again here we get some conflicting results because we have different sources, right? So one source says the price of ChatGPT Pro is $42 per month. And here it says the price is not specified, it's not disclosed, uh, doesn't provide any information about the price. So the conclusion is like discusses the price of ChatGPT Pro, which is not specified. And that is quite true. There's no, I don't think there's been any official announcement about the price. So very good. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is write a concise summary of responsible AI. 
And here it wrote a concise summary. So Microsoft and OpenAI have a long-standing partnership to, deploy, to develop and deploy AI responsibly. So that looks very good. Responsible AI is a concept of becoming increasingly important as AI technology advances. Very good, very good. Maybe I didn't showcase it today, but this is just scratching the surface of use cases. So you can just take your big text files, convert them into vectors and JSON objects, and then you can search them and answer questions from them. So this is like, my last video was about fine tuning. And if you just want to answer questions from a big source of text, this is the way to do it. Don't use fine tuning if that's your only goal. So yeah, I'm pretty happy how this turned out. And it's a very interesting thing that I'm going to continue working on. And I'm going to develop my second brain. Hopefully this video gave you some inspiration to start diving deeper into generative AI. So don't forget to check out my membership below if you are interested in that. Also check out this video if you like this one. So. I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.